This video is brought to you by Cadent, SGN, Wales and West Utilities and Northern Gas Networks. Within this video, we will cover the exchange of a meter and also raise awareness of some of the most common issues that the GDNs are called back to following a meter installation. Before carrying out the meter exchange, ensure you test your volt stick on a known live source. Test for voltage on the gas appliances and meter installation using the tip of the volt stick. If the volt stick illuminates, then cease work activity and refer to your company procedures. Isolate the gas at the ECV. Proceed to carry out the tightness test procedure. Raise the pressure to 7 to 10 millibar for one minute to test the let-by of the ECV. If let-by is suspected, disconnect the regulator and apply leak detection fluid, LDF, inside the ECV. If let-by is present, then contact the gas transporter. Raise the pressure to 20 millibar for one minute for the stabilization period. For a further two minutes, test the installation at 20 millibar. Attach the continuity bond to the inlet and then the outlet of the installation before removing the meter. Remove the meter and cap to prevent any gases within the meter being released. Remove the regulator. Remove the existing washer from the outlet union and discard, ensuring no debris is present. It is essential that washers are never reused and new washers must always be installed. Install the new regulator and always install new washers to all the unions Install the new meter. Ensure all washers are in place and proceed to tighten the unions. It is essential that the unions are appropriately tightened. Incorrectly tightened unions have the potential to cause a leak. Install security washers onto the meter bracket. Repeat the tightness test procedure. Slowly turn the ECV into the on position. Purge out any air from the installation at the appliance and check the working pressure at the meter while the appliance is in use. The working pressure should be 21 millibar, plus or minus 2 millibar. Apply LDF to the unions and test point after the testing procedure. Ensure that the test point is correctly reinserted and tightened as appropriate. LDF will bubble if there is an escape present. Leave sufficient time for LDF to react, typically around two minutes. Ensure that consideration is given to all the new and existing connections for signs of leakage.